Okay, let's talk about the Great Salt Lake for a minute, shall okay. we? Yeah, modifications to the causeway berm that separates the northern and the southern areas of that lake is actually benefiting the brine shrimp there. Okay, so according to the Division of Wildlife Resources, about 29 million pounds pounds of brine shrimp cysts were harvested at the lake this past season, which normally runs from October through January of every year. It's more than a 50% increase from the 19 million pounds collected the year before. Officials saying it appears that the measures to address uh, rising salinity levels played a key role in the cyst harvest by helping get the salinity levels back to a normal range. Great Salt Lake uh, supplies uh, almost half of the worldwide demand for brine shrimp uh, cysts, and that uh, is used in that aquaculture industry ultimately as a uh, food source for shrimp, uh, table shrimp that we would eat. This is good news that it's uh, brine shrimp and brine shrimp cysts are considered an important food source for the millions of migratory birds that use the Great Salt Lake every year. Officials add that because of the lake's normally high hatch rates, the brine shrimp cysts there have a reputation for being some of the highest quality cysts in the world. So this is very interesting and I see parallels with the weather because in the lake, the environment, the chemistry has right. to be just right for yes. those optimal conditions. Yes. Same for the weather. Very much, very much so. And I just have to say, I love a sea monkey. I, I love brine shrimps. That's I, right. I sea tell monkeys. you what, sea yeah. monkeys are my favorite. If you have never seen one up close, they have the cutest little eyes and this is what they're little, oh, I'm telling you, they're incredible. And it's great news because that is the only really thing right. that can live in the waters mm. of the Great Salt Lake. Right. So to balance that for our ecosystem is huge. The Great Basin Puddle is the Great Salt Lake, so our migratory birds love it. You started with a story. We didn't need that story. report. We just needed to turn Listen, and let, let her the talk. The scientist in me is just so <laughs> in love it. with that story. John Luft is great to work oh. with as well. But anyway, I could go on about the Great Salt Lake, but I know you want to know about President's Day weekend, Let's right? Let's talk about I mean, it. like, yeah. goodness, we've got changes already because we had a wet day, and now we're starting to cool things down, dry things out just